I'm going to show you how to create a Vadin application using Eclipse and Maven. So of course the first step is going to eclipse.org if you haven't done so and uh, download the uh, installer and run it. That's a very simple process. Um, I'm not going to actually uh, do it for this video. I think you can manage by yourself. It's very simple. But once you have installed the uh, the ID, you can just uh, run it. And uh, I would recommend you to install the Vadim plugin for Eclipse. So go to uh, the Eclipse uh, Marketplace, search for Vadin, and you should get this uh, result here, which is the Vadin plugin for Eclipse. Click the install but button and follow the instructions and you are good to go. I'm not going to do it, I have already done so. Uh, let's continue. All right, uh, so once you have restarted the, uh, the Eclipse, uh, you will have to do th that after installing the, uh, the plugin. Um, you can create a new Vadin application by going to File, New, and selecting this option, or there are actually many other options over here. Mm. But again, we are interested in, in, in this one, Vadin 7 project, which uh, is a Maven project. So it's going to use Maven to create the, uh, the project and to compile the project and even to run the project. So you have uh, many options. Mm, when creating a new uh, Vadin, Vadin uh, project. Uh, we are not going to go through all this, but uh, make sure you select the single module application project. This is uh, very simple and a good place to start a new uh, Vadin project. Click Next. Uh, you can configure your group ID over here. I'm going to use a default, but I'm going to change the name of the artifact. It's like the name of the project, so I'm going to use Tutorial. And there are some other uh, configuration options that you can change, but I'm going to use the default. Click Finish. And Eclipse uh, should uh, create this um, project, which is, again, a Maven project. So you will find this file over here, pom.xml. This is where you can add more dependencies, such as, I don't know, Spring or Log4j, for example. Uh, but the most interesting part of this project is actually the Java source code. So right now it's just one class, which is uh, my UI, uh, the Java. And as you can see, it's well, just plain Java and you generate the UI using Java. But this uh, will create a HTML interface or user interface in the, on the browser. Uh, so let's see how we can run this application. Um, this is like an example application that the archetype created. Mm. So we need to run this. This is a web application, right? So we need a web uh, server. Uh, you can go ahead and create a web server. There is uh, an option somewhere to create a web server and you can then deploy the application and start the server. But because uh, we created the application using this Maven archetype, uh, there is a Yeti plugin already configured uh, inside this file. So we can create uh, a debug configuration. You can do it either by clicking uh, this option over here or go to run and then debug configurations. And over here, you should see this one, Maven build. So just click this button to create a new uh, launch configuration or right click and new. Uh, give it a name, so I'm going to use uh, run on Yeti, that's the server we are going to use. And over here, goals, you need to specify the Maven goal, which is Yeti run. And there's one last thing you need to do in order to debug, to, to use, for example, uh, a breakpoint in, the, in Eclipse, which is adding the, uh, a source lookup path or an option to, to this path. So go ahead and add uh, the Java project. Make sure you select this one here, Java project and not only uh, project, right? So Java project and select the tutorial. At some point you can, you can have many or several Vadin applications or even 
not only valid in applications, but that's the reason we need to select the specific one when we are going to run uh, that Maven goal. And also, I forgot to select the base directory. So you need to select, again, this directory over here. All right, uh, now we are good to go. So click debug. Yeah, allow. And uh, th this will start the Jetty server, and you can stop it uh, with this button here, and you can run this configuration again just by clicking this option here. If you are on a Windows machine, you might get an error like this one here. So this is a build failure because Eclipse uh, configured a Java runtime environment rather than a Java development kit. So you can fix that by going to Preferences and then select Java installed JRIS and add a new or the installed uh, JDK, which in my case, is uh, over here, so I need to select this directory. Click OK, finish, and we can also remove the previous one. That should fix the problem. So as you can see, the uh, Jetty server uh, is started. So let's go to the browser and go to localhost 8080. And um, there we go. I type my name here and click this button. I get this uh, message over here. All right, so let's go back to Clips and let's see what this is all about. So as you can see, there's, there is a class that extends uh, a, 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 a VADIN class, yeah? And then there is an init method where you can configure all the, uh, the UI, the components that, that, that appear here. So we have a vertical layout and we have a text field and a button. And uh, what particularly, uh, if you have a look at this part, there is a kind of a click listener. So this block of code here is gonna be executed when the button is clicked. So if I add a breakpoint over here and let's try clicking the button, well, then we get that uh, Eclipse stops the execution of the application, and now you are free to use all the debugging options, such as, for example, running line by line or inspecting the values of the variables and so forth. So to continue the execution, you can click this button here, and there you go.